<laughs> As uh, Jesus said to St. Matthew on the road to Papadopoulos in the letters to St. Antonine, the wanderer returns. As the Good Samaritan said in the letters to St. David, look who's back. To paraphrase Jesus, when Lazarus rose from the dead, look who's back. The prodigal son returns. As our heavenly father God said when Jesus escaped from his tomb, the wanderer returns. For a million? No blam. Fucking yes. Thank you very much. Left back thinks it's up. Prediction for Scotland, Germany. I told you 2-1 to Scotland. Yes, believe. Put a lot of money on it. There's been a lot of anti-gambling stuff recently. I've, I've seen it on Twitter. I've mentioned it here. A lot of anti-gambling stuff. I like it. I don't like it at all. Do you know who complains about gambling? Losers. <laughs> Losers. 2-1 in Scotland against Germany. The night, put everything on it and you'll become a believer. You want to be fucking complaining about gambling and believe me, a lot of money to be made tonight. A lot. A lot. Germany just won 5 now against France. I don't fucking care. That's because they, they, they went into try-hard mode. They went into try hard mode. France has got a lot on its fucking plate right now. Don't want to go into it, no politics. They're a wee bit preoccupied. Liam and Manny thinks the subs. Shite sub part is a lifeblood of a stream. I disagree. You're very welcome. Lazy all day thinks the bits. Thank you very much, Glen Arzel. Shout out to PG Tips with their adverts. Joe Bananas thinks the sub. The blam's been taken. Ellen I thinks the sub. Big shout out to Sam and Jordan. They're in Glasgow for the WWE. This weekend. You see, I remember it was WWF back in the uh, Council Sky. Council uh, Satellite, whatever it was. Then had to change it, didn't they? Remember? Because WWF is World Wildlife Foundation, whatever it is. Back in my day, and Carl Wadrick, free satellite for the whole fucking street. I, th I don't know how it worked council wise, but I don't know. It just worked. Didn't have a dish. Didn't have a dish. But just one day, uh, all the council gave us all um, Sky. There's fucking Sky 1. There's a uh, wrestling. I don't know how it worked. I mean, for all I know, um, we got it as well up in Lancashire. Right, so it was real. Right. Because I, I, was, I was starting to think, Uh, maybe my dad lied and he did something. But he'd, ne had, he'd have no reason to lie. He'd be quite open with his um, uh, criminalities in terms of 
council, government, things like that. Budkinte, Ellen and I, thanks to subs. Uh, thanks again. Have you been working on any goofy voices recently? I saw it was up to yesterday. I took the day off to work on some new voices. Listen to this one. It's funny you're saying goofy voices because it's called goofy. You ready? What are you doing with that? Put that down. Give me that. That's mine. Catchphrases. Give me that. That's mine. And it's with stuff that isn't his. The whole idea with the sketches with this goofy guy, it's called Goofy Guy, is he sees something, he goes, I, give me that, that's mine. Convinces everybody it's, it's, it's his, that's that's his one, that person stole it. But see, whatever it is he gets, he doesn't know what it is. So let's say... Let's say he's never seen a, a, a top quality controller like this. He's never used a controller. Give me that, that's mine. And he's like... Hello, hello, John, you there? That kind of thing. Goofy guy. That would actually be really, really fucking good. I could get a whole series out of that. A whole fucking series. Will Brooks. It's unlimited. Thanks again. Thanks. Thanks to the subs. Don't talk about my auntie gambling like that. <laughs> Simon and Wabs, thanks to the subs. So does half yesterday. I wouldn't have taken the day off unless I had to. All right, I'm going to go into it. Nothing serious, just relax. Liquid Gollum, thanks to the subs. Would you rather have to stop streaming but your accomplishments in comedy stand or carry on streaming but your comedy career is erased from history? Um... Stop streaming because the accomplishments still exist so that uh, I can live on after I've, I've died. Remember, you can live on after you died in public memory. That's a form of living, either by doing something really good or something really evil. Gollum, Goofn on Elvis, Kodiak, thanks to subs. Last time I followed your gambling expertise, I lost my house and family. You get a new house, get a new family. You move in with an existing family. Grey Nene, thanks to sub. Play some Rocket League. I'm shite at it. And it's fucking crap anyway. Talacht, Ian. That's me back. Roseb and Jack. Big shout out to your new... Uh, thanks to subs. Big shout out to your new puppy, Gary. McBeasy. Bring back Soaking Guy. Lincoln. Fantastic Ewan. Thanks to subs. I have to go any good games lined up. I don't think. I, I want to go back to that fucking pizza yo. Ox the box. Oh, 30 months paternity leave. <laughs> Imagine you were an employer. You fucking employed somebody and then they fuck off for... Are you, are you, are you serious? You're not serious, are you? Th aye, 30, 30 fucking weeks. 30 fucking weeks. Imagine... Imagine... Fantastic, you and have you got to get? Do you get paid your full wage for that? For that thirty weeks, full pay. Fucking hell, man! Have you got any idea if your your employer gets compensated by the government in any way? Scottish government. Oh, really? Well, that's all right then. That's good. Good for people. Good for business. Good for people. Good for business. We are paying for it. Because we're a society that cares. Octobox and Clutch. Thanks to the subs. Thank you very much, subs. 
Scotland v Germany. Uh, fucking 10-0 to Scotland. 2-1 to Scotland. 2-1 to Scotland. Excuse me. How would you how would you type that? How would you Could you do this? Could you do that? Or would you do this thing? There you go. It'll be that. German at home. There you go. So I'll leave that sitting there for a wee while. By the way, I fucking knocked this right here. Yes, see this? This is gone. See this? I, I've bought some things. I've went a wee bit daft. Um, um, I bought an AV receiver. you got to see the size of this fucking thing. Lynn took one look at it and went like, what is that? But AV receiver. Um, I, I didn't realise just how fucking tall the thing was. It looks like it could... Like you could plug in a kind of whole system or like a community centre or something. And yeah, <clears throat> what what does it do? I'll tell you. What a polo, Maxi and I thinks the subs. That's right. What a polo? I think I'd be told about that. I'll pass your blessings on to Bobby, JK family barbecue. I've not tried roasters and paisley. Sounds really good. I'm looking forward to getting there. Justice and Uncle Muscle give me back my bacon. Yes, I'm Lulu. Thanks the subs. Dougal, Geheimer, Get A Whale, thanks for subs in Raid, Zookies, JBJ, thanks for subs. Nay Gossip, um, no, I've completely removed myself for the Gossip uh, Network, the Gossip Community, the Gossip, no Gossip Potential or anything, nothing. Absolutely zero. No. Absolutely fuck all. I'm floating in a kind of sensory deprivation fucking tank going in my mind. The bikes, thanks to sub. Got a Costco for a, a bog roll, hot dog, and a slice of pizza. I need anything picked up. Um, get us a. Uh, Two, four pint cartons of milk. Paul McCrory thinks the sub. Uh, I always get uh, Bobby the chicken dreamies. I don't know if that's her favourite, but that's what she gets. Marriage thinks the bits. How was your weekend? It was really good, thanks. Bill Heat, Fackin' Steels. Appear Deadpan, Mr. Writer, Metal Jester thinks the subs. No, I, I don't I, I'm allowed to watch the Scotland game. I'm not fucking interested in that anyway. It'll be a lot of shit. And I'll tell, tell you another thing. How do you watch the Scotland game tonight? You can watch it on STV, ITV, or like ITVX, or STV player. I will go onto that app on the telly, and it's a fucking good telly, and I will not be able to fucking stream that game. Absolutely fucking no doubt. It never fucking works. It's a normal ITV. I know. It's a, I, 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 you go to watch something on ITV X, you know, the, the app, it says, no, you're in Scotland, you've got to use the STV app. You've got to use that, and you're like, right, where the fuck is it? Where is it? Just program, 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 film. Where's the fucking live broadcast? Ain't there. Our aerials fuck, so we kind of use the normal telly. And surely, with the connection that I've got, and here in 2024, 
I should be able to watch any fucking telly channel that exists via the internet. But no. But no. Adverts for fucking... I saw an advert on... Um, I watched The Boys last night, the first episode of the new series of The Boys. Only gone to the Homelander bits. Uh, they were all right, the Homelander bits. Not interested in enough, uh, anything else. Not interested in anything else. That was it. Uh, and there was adverts for fucking uh, Meta, um, VR thing, whatever the fuck, Meta Quest. Somebody's looking up how to make a, like it's a guy, the adverts a guy um, looking to make something to put on his Wayne's cot or something like that, like a, like a wee, you know, wee, what do you call it? Cot, crib, whatever the fuck you call it. You know, baby prison thing. And and to look up how to make it, he's, he's like, it's got the fucking VR he'd set on and he's like that. You know, kind of, you know, doing all that shit. And here he's looking at a video of what today, while being able to see actually what's in front, uh, front of him in real life. And also where he, uh, I don't know, get the parts, like and, like he's got a browser open as well. It's just, it's just a, it's a failed technology. Failed. Because his girlfriend or the wife or whatever is walking about and she's like looking, right? He won't be able to go like that. Um, do you think that's the right thing there? What's the matter like that? And, and, and go, go like that, going to stick that on. So, right, see the thing that's on the left? Do you think that's meant to go in that? What thing on the left? What is it you're looking at? Right, hold on. Right, look, get, give me it. Right. I'm going to give it back. When I give it back, there's the, the browser window that's open. It's like the third thing done. The screws that are the third one done. Uh, second, second along. Right. Right, put that on. Stream to telly. you got to stream to a fucking telly. So you got to stream that to a telly as well. Or, go like this. Right, where's the video what of today? All right. Right, pause. Get to go like that, look. I think, was it not on my fucking head? Right, and... Hold on, I'm just going to search for that. That's that start open, that's that open. Take a look at that, do you think, look, look at this, look. Look at that, look. Using a physical... Look at that. Aye, that there, yeah. There's no problem. It solves no problems. Holland Equithump thinks the subs. Who will score Scotland's first goal? Um, who's the... Who's the cunt for the 80s? He's uh, got a right... Can I... It's got, it's got a right chin on him. Maybe a right brow. A right brow on him. Gordon Strachan. Let me just see. No, 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 no. Colin Hendry, I think it's him. Aye. Him. He'll score the first goal. Do you ever look at pictures like this and wonder what was said? 
by the photographer right there. Just, just uh, right. Great. You looking forward to the match later or so, something? Just smile. Lovely day. You know, just something to get a bit of this look. Creos still diver thinks a sub. One is Scott. I think we're going to date a Scottish man shaft. Wonder boy, Alex. Sophie thinks the subs. Are you going to be watching in Berlin? Yes, sir. Ah, Ken Berge. Jord, thanks the sub. Thank you very much. David, thanks the sub. Are we getting some retro games through, through that AV thing? I don't know. I don't think that's. Andy, thanks the sub. Anything you can say or do to help me feel better because you're off work ill today? Well, you're off work. Uh, Maze, Heisenbrad, Dace, Big Penis, thanks the sub. Have you tried a kebab pie? I oh, know, I've not had any kind of kebab for. Well, I've not had a Donna kebab for. Yeah, 20 fucking years. But I'm really looking forward to the Euros. Turtles, uh, thanks to sub. Any hard truths to sh share? No. No home truths today. Uh, Major, thanks to sub. That's me back. Um, so I've got an AV receiver, right? So an AV receiver, right? So what's going on? Here's 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 what's happened. Here's the whole process of what's been happening. It's quite simple. It's quite straightforward, really. Veritas says mansplain it for us. Oh, sorry, my mansplain. On you go, Veritas. Tell me what everything that's been happening and why I've decided on all the decisions that I've made in my life in the last week. Including, you know, all, all the stuff you don't even know about. Um, it all began it all began with these speakers I've got here on my computer I normally had them under the monitor a bit to the left and a bit to the right and then I can't remember why I think I was just moving things about I just went wait a minute I'm going to put my left air there and my right air there I want a bit of kind of you know actually do that kind of thing Um, and then I really started to hear that nice fucking stereo kind of wood thing that I hadn't heard for fucking ages. Ages. We can actually hear stuff in the centre, the kind of phantom centre, as it's called. And, no, this is, somebody, somebody said on Twitter, somebody may be, may be old as if it's new. No, this is old. What's new is having stuff coming out of a fucking mono speaker. Or I, I, the speakers are shite, shite speakers on a telly, or a fucking soundbar that's all right there in the centre. That's modern. Back in the old days, back when I was wee, every cunt, everybody had a fucking stereo with big speakers like that fucking size. That, with one air there and one air there. It was better back then. You actually heard it. Look, shit though, they all, people all love that now. Or that retro carry on. Excuse me, it's no retro, it's my life. Anyway, so it's like that, it's putting on some fucking 80s stuff, some obvious kind of, Christ, listen to that, would you? Money for nothing, listen to that intro. When you hear a bit coming in, a bit coming in, or... Some sort of, like, relax, Frankie goes to Hollywood, or one of these, one of these well-produced ones where they put an effort in to make that comfy here and that comfy there and that in the middle and all that, rather than just, ah, just put that maybe a wee bit, put a hi-hat maybe a wee bit to the left, put that a wee bit to the right, like that. And it just sounds fucking better. It sounds good. It feels like an art form in itself. The placement of things. 
Um, and and another thing that happened was when I was in having a shower and I was playing music and the speaker that we've got wasn't working so I just played it from my phone and my phone was kind of behind me and I noticed I could hear the high frequencies better when they were off to the side than in front of me. I was like, wait a minute. You know the way you go like that? What's that? Huh? I was in a cafe yesterday and I was like, that fucking concert like that. Do you want to... What? Do you want a receipt? For no, 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 thanks. You want to give me that? Huh? What's that? What's that, hen? What's that, hen? Do you want sugar with the tea? No, I'm sweet, I'm sweet enough. <laughs> I'm sweet enough. <laughs> oh, can it? Oh, right. I said, yeah. What does that say? Yeah. Um, so it's like, wait a minute, right? So that, I want that to the side. And also I can hear better I know, when I'm listening to the telly. That sound bar, but it's all kind of, you know, it's a kind of wide sound bar, but still in the centre. And I'm like, I'm having fucking difficulty with that. I'm like, wait a minute. Maybe I should get speakers for this fucking telly. Intelligent thinks to the raid, banana thinks to the sub. The first record you ever bought. I've got a feeling that I, I didn't buy stuff like, say, primary school. Ah, uh, it wasn't until was it like secondary school went or, or thereabouts. One of the first few things I remember buying was like now twelve, which is like eighty eight, summer eighty eight. So it was um, thirteen. Um, the only way is up by Yaz, and the plastic population. Ma wanted me to get Fast Car by Tracy Chapman once, Bohemian Rhapsody, which wasn't in the charts or anything like that at that point. Um, it was like, that's the only way you could get a song, go up and fucking buy it. Go up and see if they've got it. Um, uh, I saw... I thought, right, I'm going to get myself speakers. And I looked in Amazon and I got these, um, I want to kind of, all right, speakers, good speakers, no gigantic ones, but good ones, kind of. Um, put one to the left and one to the right. You plug it into the socket in the wall. Um, you put like a, a fucking optical out or, or whatever for that, um, for the telly into the, the the right speaker and the right speaker connects to the left and that was that and that was that and everything was fine everything was fine the only problem was Lynn had a look at see the cable for the right speaker that plugs into the wall it was quite short so I had to have an extension cable fucking plugged into that and then um, Lynn took a look at me like that's a mess even though it's behind the telly and I was like, right. And I just kept a wee mental note of that. And then, what was the other thing I was thinking? What was the other thing I was thinking? Lynn said something about she, she liked it and everything, but... She could, because she was kind of heard the right. She could hear the sort of right speaker. It was like a minor. She, she doesn't care about any stuff like that, right? So it wasn't a, a major thing. And then I can't remember what it was. What, what made me think about it? And you had to, you, you have to use a separate remote for the, the volume. And I thought, I thought, I wonder if I should get like a kind of like a center speaker, because a lot of the times, by the way, it sounded a lot clearer. See the stuff I've been watching on the telly. I don't need the fucking subtitles anymore. Because. See, with these speakers, I've got 
they've got a kind of a treble and a bass and a volume knob on, on the side. You've got to fucking get up to date, mind you. What I had before, with that sound bar, it's just fucking... It's, it's a good one, a Sony, what do you call it? It's got, like, different sets, dialogue, music, that sort of shite, presets, you don't know what the fucking day. You kind of go like that, turn the fucking... This thingy kilohertz up to that, you know. Things like that, right? You, you kind of do that. I want to turn the fucking treble up, or the high frequencies, right up, so I could fucking hear it better. Um, crystal clear. And because I'm watching the tail at the end, there's a speaker at the left, there's a speaker at the right, it's coming in for the side. That way that if I was listening to something, I'd have to go, ah, huh? But I looked up some things saying, oh, see if you get a good centre speaker. When, so it's already fine. It's already fine, right? But I've got the itch. I've got the itch now. People talk about, see if you want the the dialogue to be very clear. It's already kind of clear. I'm already happy with it. But see if you want it to be clear. See a lot of things at like Netflix or Disney Plus or any of these sorts of things. They punt out their audio at like uh, 5.1 sort of surround sound usually. And if they uh, if they just date to stereo, they just basically sort of flatten it all in a way. And... Basically, what I've read, if I've understood it correctly, is see if you've got a kind of AV receiver. I'll get to that in a second. You can you plug a centre speaker in and a left speaker and the right, and the way that these things are made, um, uh, broadcast or streamed. You know the the, the sound. The centre speakers usually predominantly for the dialogue stuff, right? I can already hear it clear. I've got a wee feeling, but the centre speaker's kind of what I want to get away from. I bet a good centre speaker. And you can still have the, the dialogue coming out a bit of the left and right anyway. But I thought, right, how do I do that? You need an AV receiver. And what it is, is a big fucking box like that. And basically, HDMI cable goes for the telly into that. Um, and then you attach all the speakers to the AV receiver via the um, speaker cables, you know, just it's like the wee copper wires, just the left and the right, you know, the kind of wee red and black type of thing. And that's it. And not only that, see the speakers that I've got that plug into the wall? They don't have to plug into the wall. They're called powered speakers. Or active speakers. See, when you're plugging it into an AV receiver, you only need what's known as passive speakers, which is you don't need to plug the speakers themselves, at least the left and right ones, into the wall. Um, they get powered by that speaker cable, that thin speaker cable. So it's a lot more hidden. So that's that problem. That would be that problem to take care of, but I kind of did with my current speakers. So basically I've wasted money on my current fucking speakers. So I bought new ones and I'm going to either sell or fucking give away the ones that I've got because they're not that expensive. They're no silly fucking... It's no silly fucking money. Um, the passive speaker equivalent, I've got enough time to actually send them back to Amazon in a fucking box. Um, do I give away? That's a really good idea, short eater. And then maybe put my address on it and all that, you know, if you want to return it and start a connection with somebody, that'd be good. Um, so, the extension cable thing, that's that'll be a thing in the past. Then I could also plug in a centre speaker, which I've went and bought. It's sitting right here. How big it is, I don't know. I think it's kind of big, but I'm not sure. Um, not only that, and I, and I said, I said to Lynn, um, matching, no, it's no matching. Does that annoy you? It's got to be matching, Lemmy. It's, mm, 
you went to all that trouble and it's no matching. You need the left, the right and the centre speaker to be made by the same manufacturer and the same model. I'm no one of these folk who are like, right, let's get that wee microphone thing, place it at the, the best position. And I'm not trying to get... I've not got folk coming run who are like, how are you getting on with your SH5293 um, model number two? I've not got, you know, like, not like... What did you think of the film? I would have liked it. I don't know why I've got a judge coming in. Well, I would have, I, I would have liked it, but just something was distracting me. I think I, I'm not going to go into it. What was it? The speakers, Brian. <laughs> They're all wrong. Um, so I've got to plug a centre speaker into that. Now I'm going to wait. I, I, currently, it's my the, the left and right speaker there. The AV receiver sitting there. It's no fucking set up or anything. That's not getting touched yet. The centre speaker is sitting in that box. The new left and right speakers to replace the ones. Take the ones put box. Won't send the back. They are fucking sitting in the, uh, that box there. Um, and what's the other thing? But that's the EV receiver box. Because I'm not getting this all set up while they're in the house going about and going, oh, what's that? What's the size of that thing? Oh, I want to watch something just now. Well, I, it's going to take, I'm just wanting to get this set up to, but what's that? The, the, uh, but if I, if I put it on just now, it's not going to be right. I want to wait. I, I think I'm going to have to wait until all the way till Monday, fucking two o'clock. I will not have an uninterrupted half an hour to myself until that time. On a Friday, Lynn's off work, Lynn will be in. Then my son comes back for school. That's that, all the way to the night. Saturday, day and night. Sunday, day and night. Monday, Work, school, me by myself. Half one, end the stream, have my lunch, two o'clock. That's an idea. Can, don't have a moment to myself until then. I do have a moment, but I need a guaranteed, uninterrupted, half hour to an hour. Preferably even longer. To simply unbox, to read the instructions to physically plug it all in, to go through the setup stuff, to move stuff a wee bit, to go through the settings and go, right, that actually sounds a bit loud compared to that, is that quite right? Right, don't get too wanky, don't get too wanky, just see if you can get away with the burn minimum, comes at the left, comes at the right, comes at the middle, oh, that sounds good, that's it. Um, turn that up a bit, Turn that down a bit and then kind of go like that, right? Now, that arc thing, CEC, whatever the fuck it is, can I now control the volume of the AV receiver using the volume on my tele remote? Because that's what it says in the videos. Oh my god, it works. Now I don't have to go out. Oh, where's the fucking volume remote? All of that. All set up and then forgotten about. And I said that, that so once that's done, that's that done. I said to Lynn, there's just two more steps. Just two more steps. One. 
one is currently we've got a speaker sitting on this sort of cabinet thing. Hey, hold on. I'm, I'm still not 100% everybody. Cabinet thing, so, cabinet thing on the, on the left, and like, actual bookshelf, bookshelf speakers actually on a bookshelf to the right. So one's a wee bit higher than the other, one's a wee bit further towards us than the other, so it's never going to be like that right, no, no yeah, it's not quite, it's hunky-dory. But just to get to absolute and see the telly, it isn't like all right in the centre of the room. We've got this, uh, it's like an old fireplace there. So we kind of just plonk it right on that. The fireplace itself isn't it, in the centre. So it's not like the telly's in the centre and everything's perfectly balanced. Everything's going to be a wee bit skew with in some sort of way. So, and I way that's good. I kind of get it perfect. No matter no matter what. So that's good in a way. I don't have to fucking stress out about that. But I did say two further wee decisions, uh, steps to be made. One is, what do you think about stands? So like a wee kind of stand there for that speaker and there. So they're kind of like the same. She's like, what, what there? And that wee gap between the, 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 the wee cabinet thing and there? Right there? I, no. It's like, right, but what, what about actually on the fireplace? On the fireplace? I went, right, all right, that's that then. It's just that, you know, currently it's sitting there. She's I'm happy with sitting there. I'm happy, I'm all right with sitting there. You're all right with sitting there. Aye. Right, 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 right that's that. Well, good, that's that. That's that decided. Good, right, move on. Subwoofer? She's like, no fucking way. A subwoofer? It'd be, it'd be one time if you're listening to music all the time, but a, why do I need a subwoofer when I'm watching fucking MasterChef? I said, I was like, it's no, it's for a big loud, it's just, it's a, got a kind of, I've, I've, I've looked it up, but it says that, you know, it's, it's bit the bass, just feel it and, She's like, absolutely no way. I'm hoping that maybe if I go about a bit depressed looking, um, I won't. I won't push it too much right now, right? I've already plonked in a gigantic fucking AV receiver, right? Then the centre speaker's going to get plonked on, on fucking Monday. I can't believe I've got to wait like three fucking days to fucking, oh, they fucking sit right there. I can't fucking do it. Um, I, might get, I might get a bit of time the, the, uh, the morrow, actually. I'll get a bit of, don't be dramatic. You'll get, you'll get a bit of time the morrow. I'll be fine. Don't want to push it too much right now. Once that's done, and then wait a wee while, so it doesn't look like I'm gone mental. Because she says you're, you know, basically going to ruin the twist with us. I was like, no, no. I said, you know, it comes. To, you know, some of these uh, subwoofers come in a nice uh, walnut, and and she laughed. Um, so that's good, that's a good sign, she's laughing, she's laughing. Uh, Tom says you need a subwoofer next mate. Oh that's a good idea, subwoofer, didn't think of that. Um, so, you know, I don't really know where to put it but I'll, I'll leave it. I'll leave it. Because see the bass coming out, speakers, it's, it's absolutely fucking fine. I'll leave it. But the option is there, and that 
gets plugged into the AV receiver and the AV receiver handles it all. The signal comes through the telly, through the HDMI cable into the AV receiver. All the information of what's to happen with all the, the channels, the centre, the left, the right, the sub, two subs, by, by the way, you could plug into it. Two subs are this thing. And the back left and back right speakers, I'm not going to get into all that. We don't need that, and I'm not interested in that the fucking speaker than a speaker there. Um, but it's, it's there. And that bit of kit, that AV receiver, that's not getting moved for the next 100 fucking years. That's that. Hide the sub in the underside of the couch. Um, uh, I've seen things like that, and I'm like, I know the sub's meant to. It, it doesn't. It's no. It's no really directional in a way. It's no really meant to come for air there or air there. It's a. It's just a fucking presence. It's bass, like a rumble, but. I don't know, I mean, to that extent, you can actually put it under the fucking couch. So, so, that's it. That's it done, but, um, that's enough of that stuff bought for now. It is a vast improvement in the fucking sound bar already. Just that left and right speaker. And I'll we'll put the centre speaker as the subwoofer or anything like that. But just that, everything's, everything's a lot fucking clearer. Everything's a lot clearer. My prediction is, even with this good centre speaker that I'm putting in, that it's meant to be good for, like, dialogue and all that, and that's the way they mix these things. The dialogue sort of stuff is kind of in the centre. That's good because you're looking at the telly and the sound feels like it's got, coming for the telly and you've got the left and right. I've got a feeling... That will basically be going back to the problem that I had at the start, which is when something's in front of me, I kind of hear it as well as if it's to the side of me. Which is why, you know, you did the whole turn of the fucking head, what's that, what, what, what? And it'll be kind of like, I, I might have a moment where I go like that. Why did I do that? Why did I get that? Why did I get that? I mean, the, the reason why I wanted the left and right, partly, was so I could hear it better when it's coming from the side. And I'm like, oh, I'd like to put on a dialogue like that. With this fucking AV receiver, no force the fucking dialogue now to be right in the centre. Have I fucked it? But um, I did see a setting when I looked up the fucking uh, manual of this thing that I bought before I bought it where you can take the, the stuff in the centre and put it a bit more to the left and right speakers. Once I saw that, and I also saw with the AV receiver settings for uh, basically compression, basically, you know, in layperson's part, basically make sure there's no big loud fucking bits or bits that are too quiet, make it all a bit more comp compression. And no, there's no point in saying dynamic range. If you if cunts don't know what compression is, they don't know what dynamic range is either. You got to talk in simple words. This is this is I don't want to get political, but this is why elections are lost. This is why but I remember, by the way, I'm going off on a tangent here, but I remember when it came up to the one of my biggest I voted yes to Scottish independence. I, I voted yes to independence, right? One of my biggest fucking complaints at the time with fellow yes voters, well they hadn't voted yet, was some of the part I was getting wanky. I remember I remember tweeting about it at the time. I was like, you've got the sun and the kind of unionist sort of papers, which is pretty much every fucking one of them. But the tabloids mainly, they're talking in plain fucking language. Plain language, and then you've got maybe the many of the folk that are kind of on the left with the maybe pro the, the pro independence folk 
what was it? It was like uh, Common Wheel. Uh, what was the other one? Um, what was the other one? Uh, there was another one that, uh, at the time. What was that? Bella Caledonia. I don't think it was that. It was a uh, another pro independence national. Maybe, maybe national collective. There might have been one other thing I can't remember. I love it when you get started with that intellectualism. No, 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 no. It was that. It wasn't the national. I can't remember. It was. Uh, it might have been national clay. I don't know. It was. It was punting out. It was a. It was a group. It was a group. It wasn't even just one guy, right? It was a group thing. Um, and they were saying things like, "This is better for a, pers a par participatory politics." And things like that. I'm like, I can't even fucking say that. I can't even say that. And it was fucking narrative this and narrative that and narrative, 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 narrative. And it was all highbrow fucking language, highbrow fucking words, clever stuff, impressive stuff. University stuff. Spending a lot of time in a library stuff. Like that, I'm like, I can read this, and yes, you're taking lots of um, words and meanings and, and, and compressing them down into a single word, which you will know what that word means if your vocabulary is good enough. But it isn't just a, a case of looking up these fucking words and all the rest of it. It's the, the, how it comes across. The, that word with that word with that word constructed in this way, in these sentences, put forward in this way. Your average cunt will not only not know what the fuck you're on about, but even if they do, they'll just get put off by it. They'll go, what? It, it's wanky. It's fucking wanky. And I feel I'm the missing link between daft cunts and clever cunts, I'd say. I'm clever on the one horn, and on the other horn, I'm thick as fuck. I, I bridge the gap like an intellectual uh, Jesus. I, I, I bridge the gap between God and people. I bridge the gap. I can bridge the gap between the clever and the daft because I am both. Um... And I was just reading it going like that. What is this shit? I remember tweeting about it and people going like that. Are you trying to say that working class... But I come from fucking working class fucking background. I've got a fucking... I sound like this and you sound like that. You're trying to tell me that working class people don't have a brain in their head. Oh, fucking listen to yourself. you got cunts in the, 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 right in the sun and the sun says in plain, normal, common denominator fucking language that any cunt and every cunt gets. They might not agree with it, but they can fucking understand what is getting said. And this is like fucking group wank part of this. this is, who the fuck is reading this? It's boring. It's highbrow. It's all, you know, like... um high level sort of fucking ideas and it, it does they talk about normal fucking normal normal wee things 
I remember complaining, you know, wee things like money. If it's going to be a pain in the arse. How long it's going to go on for. Wee things, wee normal things. It's all highbrow fucking stuff. No wee things like, uh, is this going to be annoying for a while? I remember saying it on Twitter, I was complaining about that, and had uh, these uh, fellow pro-independence folk saying things like, uh, well, I think that's actually a bit patronising. I think that's actually a bit condescending. Are you saying that you should dumb it down? For Ah, you should. Yes. Yes, I am. Some ideas can't be dumbed down. They can all be dumbed down because, oh, at, at, at the end of the day, if, 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 everything that happens affects you in a very tiny wee day-to-day way. Are you going to be skint? Is there going to be too much of this? No enough of that? What? And even if it shouldn't be dumbed down, it needs to be. Because that's the way a lot of people fucking think. That's the, that's the, that's the way a lot of brains, most fucking human brains are. I think maybe, maybe all of them. You're able to think about big lofty fucking uh, complicated ideas and, and, and big philosophical things, but you're also like... Um, is the place going to be humming a shite? Is anything going to leak? Will it be hotter? Colder? Stupid wee ideas, wee daft things. Wee daft things that some people might be embarrassed to say that they care about. We things like, is this going to affect uh, my ability to get a bus for there to there, or is this going to affect when the uh, the bins get fucking collected? No, but they're too busy talking about world stage and just stuff you, like, what, I, I don't know. Uh, that's what I think. I think I think maybe some people are just like, it's condescending and patronising to to speak and to take the language you've got and in any way making me a common denominator. Like, go with that. I've got, I could use that word or I could, you know, maybe use a few more words that mean the same thing but use simpler language. I, honestly, I, I, I felt like walking into some of these, obviously I didn't feel like this at all, I'm just making this up. I felt like walking into the offices of some of these fucking uh, pro independence uh, pro independence places and going, here's a list of words, here's a filter of all the words that uh, a twelve year old average on average should know. There'll be some words in there that adults don't know. There'll be some in there that. Um, you should know by the age of two. But do not use a single fucking word that does not appear in this list. That's it, Adi. And then I would say, don't talk about these things. Don't talk about these things. Talk about these things. But I just think you're treating people like idiots. People are idiots. People are Idiots. I'm one and I'm no. Why is everything, why is everything always a kind of tug of war? Why is it always a sort of bit of a fucking mess and nobody can quite agree and they you know why is it no war sorted out? Why is it never been sorted? It never will. Because people are fucking idiots. 
Or people want their own thing, which is only fucking natural. Because people, yes. You could fucking win an election if you just go like that. I'm telling you right now, and this is a promise. Don't ask me where I can get the money for. But the fucking second I get in power, every single person in this fucking country of voting age, because you don't want to go daft, will get, receive £1,000 in their bank account the very next day. If we get in £1,000 in the bank account immediately. What, what else are you going to do though? What's the policies? I'm not going to tell you. I got a lot of people like that. You know what? Fuck it. I mean, how bad can it get? At least you've got a wee, you know, fucking grand in, in the bank. I'm not anti an, anti an, an, an intellectual. <laughs> you surely fucking sound it. Oh dear. Not quite in the way that you meant, but. <laughs> That's one for the blooper reel. Just print more money. I read a book on holiday. Called why what's it called again? Why don't we just print more money? And it's about banks and how it all works and all that. Interesting. Half it's fucking forgotten now. But if everybody was to go to the bank and take out their money, they wouldn't be able to. That money doesn't actually exist. <laughs> Uh, Asriel thinks the sub I have to spend every last bit of Bezos's money to put a smell of it thank you very much Anonymous thanks for gifting that sub Kaj Chris thanks the sub a holiday will do you a lot of good being away from the venomous chat I'm going to, when I'm on holiday I'm, I go on holiday two weeks the day Friday uh, for Basically two weeks or ten days or something. Um I'm gonna do I'm gonna try a revolutionary again. No, this is the main summer holiday. You see, everybody, I'm in a very fortunate position. Do you, you got yourself to blame? You've only got yourself to blame. Um that we can actually go on family holidays in a way that I couldn't when I was we. So, um, uh, well, pots are summer holiday, I suppose. Not quite a holiday, but, um, what was I saying? I, now I could take pictures and videos and all that, but you know what I'm going to do? Got to keep it all better. I don't really take pictures and videos and all that anymore. Or that kind of thing. I used to when I was younger. And then I just thought to myself, I've got kind of mere... It's nice looking at pictures and going, oh, I remember being there and all the rest of it, but um, I like the idea of the way it used to be. I mean, I used to have a fucking camera when I was a teenager and all the rest of it, but um, just um, no recording in it. No going look at this everybody, look what I've uh, look what I'm eating or look what I'm just having it in the in the heat. You know, it's just so I can feel the um 
ephemeral nature of it. Ephemeral. Lasting for a very short time. Ephemerality is the concept of things being transitory, existing only briefly. Just so I go like that. This is this is gone. This will be gone. For my memory, I need to feel it. Original thanks for the bits. Thank you very much, Chip Chop and um, Stuart McGurry, Chris Light. Thanks for the subs. McGurry says, "Fucking shut up! Don't talk to yourself like that." Thanks, Chris Ganty. Thanks for the sub. Uh, the baby crying things will come out the controller. I um on the PlayStation, but not even on the best PC controller. Sorry, Huntress, Nios, Roland Jobby, thanks for subs. You're very welcome. You've just scored the winning goal against England in the Euros final. Let's see your celebration. <laughs> Dan Tom Captain Parallel We Maverick It's a me Maria thinks the subs Quig thinks the sub Speaker cells will never understand Oh ah mm -hmm. El Samir Ryan thinks the subs What would my activation phrase be if I was a sleeper agent um, actually, there's a um, there's a wee thing I've showed in the stream before. Baby Reindeer has become meta entertainment. That's right. Two or four or no? Um. Um. My my activation thing would be Bravo Papa two o four o. Two zero four zero. I remember the days where you would watch Channel 4 and it would have animations, experimental films, short films. Those days are gone. There you go, that's not finished everybody. Did you like that? Do, do you know why they overemphasise the sound of the beer in bottle being drank? Is that just faked? Never sounds like that. Piss the wife off every time it happens and I point it out. I'll read it one more time. Because it's 245 bits, that's money. And I don't want to, you know, just dismiss it. With your Scottish BAFTA winner knowledge... Do you know why they overemphasise the sound of the beer in bottle being drank? Is that just faked? Never sounds like that. Do 
do you maybe mean why is the sound of liquid being drank out of a bottle uh, why does it sound kind of fake in programs and films not specifically the sound of beer in bottle being drank the glug glug sound The glug sound of the the bubble, the air bubble going back into the bottle as it's tilted like that. Um. Well, a lot of it. Um, if that's what you, whatever you mean, sound stuff they put. You know they got. Um. Either extra sound effects, if you want to be a wanker about it, they call it Foley. Where for some reason they want to, um, if somebody's drinking, they'll be good to put just a wee sound in there, or the, 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 like that. Is that it? I don't see the giant emotes or any of these bits things by with this new stuff. Why is it called Foley? Probably some cunt, uh, some cunt called Davy Foley was one of the first and best. Craig Foley. Axel Foley. It, it'll be because, you know, somebody's like that and they're going to drink something and without any sound in a quiet room or something like that, it might just kind of sound like they're like that. There's, there's nothing. It might, it might look like they're not even drinking. But if you do that, you just put in the slightest... It's just... Oh, something's happening. Like that. Did somebody do a giant uh, emote thing? I need to... Hold on, I'm going to, I'm going to open the fucking browser. I, I want to see this. Has anybody done the fucking ridiculous uh, celebration thing? I could have left it too late, I don't know. Oh, the ray, I see... What a fucking mess. It's all right. Sorry to see something like that, but I don't see it here an OBS. The the probably do an update, so I'll just do it. All right. It's not much a delay. Well, um, <coughs> okay, well, that just happened. Um, I played some Dead by Daily off stream yesterday, uh, last night. Um, the Clown kind of did all right. I, think, uh, I went, I did I think I had a shite one. Um, I have a much better time going Survivor and wrecking the game. Yesterday, oh, actually, oh, there it is there. Yeah. Yesterday, I deliberately, I, de that one for the blooper I deliberately just hid for ages, did no gens, did no unhooking. I had the perk that where I could see the hatch and everything at the end. Um, 
and the killer went like that. Were you hiding? And I, I got out. I got out the fucking gate. Were you hiding? None of your business. You do you, and you do you. No save. We're done here. I just want to go out. You know, the conversation's over. Just, just move on. Move on with your life. Um, because you know what I did, and it's very clever. I had that perk, uh, red herring, where if you dare Jen for just three seconds, from that point on, if you go to a locker anywhere, and just simply step into the locker, it makes a explosion sound come for that generator, making the killer think that either you fucked up a skill check. Or you've maybe jumped through a window or something like that. I don't quite know how it shows up on the screen. So I did that. I set that up and then went out of the gate in that direction. I didn't think I was going to get it. Went into a locker. And they went. the killer went there. I was the last person alive. The killer went there. And I managed to get out. And I managed to teabag because they were just about to get me. Got a wee teabag. That was it. I wouldn't really want to do that though, it's not very good to watch. That kind of thing. I would I would maybe put it on just simply for the wind up stuff. No that. No no to just stretch a whole fucking game out. Uh look of love. No, 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 look, I love um, uh, Poison Arrow. Oh, no, 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 it is, look, I love. That, I think that there, that there was. Your information. I knew it was that song, I just... I was right. I got that. Uh, Reap Petite. Easy. I don't really know that. Anyway, anyway, I'm going to find out where guys go. Great bunch of comedians coming up tonight. Here we go. Please go back round of applause. Tell me. Da 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 Oh, fucking. No, 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 no. <coughs> fucking horrible. I have never been that scared in my life. Getting ready to go up and do stand up. Just a wee 10 minute spot for the very first time. Having never done karaoke, never done like a school play thing, never done anything like that. Fucking terrified. Sick, felt sick. Couldn't fucking speak. Folk up as well as like, yeah, you look fucking high. Got to the toilet just like fucking 10 minutes before it, just in a cubicle like that. I just felt like I must have looked fucking white as a ghost. Horrible. How are people making emotes float up the screen? Um, there's this new thing that Twitch just announced the other day and it, they've brought it in. It's called Power Ups. And I can't switch them off. Um, there's three of them. One is make an emote big. You 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 spend bits on it. I can set the amount. I've set it to like a hundred and maybe two hundred or something. Like that. Um, you can make an emote big. You can highlight one of your messages, which I kind of seen fucking OBS looking any different. And it's not a guarantee. It's not. It's not like oh, if you uh, see that, I go oh, look at that big shout out. Um, another one is a celebration on the screen, like something. Don't know if you've got to be in the browser or the app or something. I don't quite know. 
But I don't see it here, no BS. Um, I don't know. Doesn't work on the app, PC only. So that's the thing. I mean, somebody's just like that. Look, let me want to give you 200 bits. I remember the old days with Lemmy.com when you used to make the videos and the wee interactive things just purely, you know, here's some folk, here's some things, folks, for your entertainment, free of charge, and I want to pay you back for that. There's 200 bits. Wait a minute. Oh, there's a wee thing I can do. Do you know what? I'm going to give you 200 bits via that because I, I think it'd be quite funny to make an emote big and, you know, you do that. Then I get something out of it as well because we're all in it for ourselves here. Well, look around, look around, look around, look around. Connections here we go. Yankee Paper, Deputy, Flamingo, Eraser, Silver Medal, Bubblegum, Report, Pencil, Victor, Derek, that, don't know who the fuck, Hotel, Essay, Foxtrot, Carnation, right, Foxtrot, right away I'm thinking, um, Radio Codes, whatever you call them. Aye, right. Uh, Razor pencil essay paper or a report. Essay a paper, an article, a report. Writing assignments. Uh, pencil eraser. Deputy. I don't know who the fuck that is. Uh, pink, pink flamingo, pink, uh, carnation, pink, uh, things that are pink, is that a carnation pink, flamingo, really? I suppose rubbers are kind of pink, aren't they? Sort of, usually. When they're pink, that is. What the fuck is this? Number two? Who's that? Derek. Is this cunt? How'd you say the name? Is it Derek Jeter? 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 There's still time, you know, you can still... I know you're not, you're not gonna win, but you can always say... Or I'll look to you, Derek Jeter. Ha 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 Sitcom audience. It's not the winning, it's a, it's a taking part that counts. Who do you think I am, Derek Jeter? <laughs> Picture House, thanks to sub. Can you tell Lily and Galway that she smells a shite? It'd mean the world to me. Absolutely no way. You smell a shite. Picture house hot dog. Music, uh, ocular music, eat my chopper. The fade. GM thinks the subs. What's the least funny you have ever been? Just, just uh, sleeping maybe. That's actually quite funny. Um, I don't know. I really can't answer that. J Bath, uh, JT Bath, thanks for the reminder to hydrate. Daniel, uh, thanks for subs. Well, I've got peaks of your. Um, I could do, I could do a classic. Beyond all, thanks for sub. I could do a classic DBD gamble. 
a new classic that is of Will I Get a Teammate Hit? No killer shite, it's depressing and stressful. Or we could get some a few bets and plays on the go. Maybe a wee bit hard though. Interesting bets, fun bets. I could do right hard to kind of put your finger on it bets like Will I get, can I get a teammate to give up? And what I mean is, can I get them to just like start following me about and also trolling or can I get a teammate to not take the game seriously? Can I, you know, something that, you know, something hello there come roast some ears by the fire <laughs> like it, it'd be good this would be a this would be a good bet can I do it though um can I piss off a teammate how do we know they're pissed off <sighs> um Make someone disconnect. It's too too difficult. It's really difficult. I've done all sorts and <laughs> uh... what's a good one? I think. Right, you got you got your two or more escape. That's your standard one. No interest in that right now. Can I get a teammate to taunt me on hook? I can I get... Can I get a teammate to get revenge on me either by, you know, quite obviously How, how about this? It's, it's a, bit, a bit complicated. Can I get... <laughs> can I get my teammates? you got to listen here for this one, right? Can I get one any of my teammates to, in some way... Uh, let me try different things, right? Taunt me, that is... Uh, let's say come up to the hook when I'm hooked and no do anything or teabag or go to do it and then go away or go to heal me and no do it or get in the way, follow me about. Can I do something to get in the heat? Aye, it needs to be something that's black and white and open to dispute. No, 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 it doesn't need to be because, uh, let me see. Could I cause a teammate? Right, it's just I don't want I don't want to like go up to a, a teammate who's hooked, tea bag, go to get them off it, don't get them off it, and then run away. I've then got to make sure that I then get fucking hooked myself, and that that teammate comes all the way up and does that. They might be the other side of the map, no bother, and I might have to wait for the whole fucking game for nothing to happen. I want something that's a bit mere. It could happen at any time. Too many conditions, I and what if I don't get hooked? Let's see. Can I get a teammate to turn to the dark side? And by that, I mean. Um, gee up on the game, not take it seriously, taunt me, 
pull down pallets and shit like that when you don't need to, you know, something can I work with the killer? Can you befriend the killer? What about that? Can I befriend the killer? Right. Right, so here's what I've got to do. I'll try that. Um, and by that, what I mean is, I go up to the killer and um, they don't go like that. There, are, there you are. I'm going to fucking hit you, chase you, hit you again, downed, hooked, like that. It's a, a, something where, you know, like I may, I may be do that and they come with me, you know, that kind of thing. Like that. Something where obviously the killer is no longer trying to kill me, they know that I'm trying to help them, you know, that kind of thing. You're going to have to make do We just, you know, it, it might not be black and white, it'll be kind of black and white to me, but it's not like, oh, this thing happened twice, very clearly, and that's it. It might not be black and white. If you, if you disagree with that, don't, don't bet. I thought trying to sabotage the gens and finish with none of them done was good. I like that as well. Right, I'll tell you what we'll do then. How's about we do, we do that classic then? That's a, that's a modern classic. And that is, um, how many gens left when I end? And that means either by getting killed, by the time I get killed, or escape. I will be trying to make sure no fucking gens get done. That's what I'll be aiming for. I want to be playing a normal game and... Whatever, whatever happens, happens. Now, I will be attempting to find gens that are getting done using my perks and uh, getting them exploding and get the, the other uh, survivors caught and things like that, all sorts of things. What perks? I'll be using the fall. Sp uh, Spiderland thinks it's up. Thank you very much, Alcalf. Big fat thinks it's subs. Boop. Um... Spying on the couple arguing in the flat down below. Any specific inspiration? Love the Lemme Show sketch of spying on the couple arguing in the flat down below. Would I be right in saying that that sketch doesn't exist? Big fact. Uh, big fat would that, would that be right to say that that doesn't exist it exists what happens in it particularly spying Have they said anything yet? We're going to have an argument about what the definition of spying is. Maybe spying is the wrong word, but the camera's watching the couple down below arguing. You on here anything, but the man keeps coming back pointing. Oh, that! Oh, that! I'm so sorry. I should give you a VIP, but I want to be doing that. You're absolutely right. I forgot about that. I fucking forgot about that. Oh, I was fucking pissing myself. Um, Doing that one. Chris, thanks for the bits. 
Madhouse Madness, I'll keep that uh, out in the 5th of June. I'm looking forward. I'll be on holiday at that point, but I'll keep it in mind. I'll be remembering it while I'm on holiday and looking forward to getting back and getting it played. Full of a Took and Matthew. Cool and Doc. Chris. Yus, thanks to subs. I forgot about that. Because we were filming it out there. And... Raymond and Debbie were out there and I was watching them fucking doing it. Um, I wonder if I can... Ah, that won't... Eh? I won't be able to find that, won't I? I just will not be able to find that. I mean, it's, all the all Let Me Show is on um, uh, the iPlayer, but I'm not going to log into fucking iPlayer right now. Inspiration, basically, uh, rear window. Probably. Do you know what I thought you meant? I thought you meant the series uh, 2 one where I can overhear the couple arguing. And then she kills him. You killed my dog. That was originally for my live show. That was originally for my 2008 um, Glasgow Comedy Festival. And I think I did it at the Fringe as well, that one. Where I'm, I'm, I'm sort of chatting away, doing my kind of stand up sort of thing, and then I press a button on my phone. I've got it as a week, and I, my phone is uh, connected to my laptop. Bluetooth and any button that I press did certain things. Um, and it was as if I was getting interrupted by neighbours in the venue in some sort of way. Um, that, was, that, was a lot, that was back when I used to... And then I'd put it in the telly thing. That's back when I used to make things. I'm taking you back a few days, though. Uh, a few days? Okay. That one for the blooper wheel. Okay. Okay, so this is last night's build. This is the don't get found build, right? This is to find my teammates, right? That is to extend the range that I see my teammates. Red herring, let's do a bit of that. Right? Ne ne bet. We're looking at the perks first. Somebody asked about the perks. Red herring, so when I'm doing a gen, I can then leave that gen and I try to see, I, I can just... I don't think I need that. I want to then... I want to... You see, if I, if I kind of lay that trap thing in the gen, go away, go into a locker, it explodes. It doesn't actually explode the gen. You just get the sound that the killer thinks that's happened and the killer goes to it. I think I would rather deliberately fuck the gen up or go in and out, in and out of a locker, nearby a locker, so that my teammates see that they're in a team with a troll and go, oh, you know what, fuck this. And they either join in or they gee up. You know, they just go, ah, oh, there's no point. They've got a dickhead in the fucking team. Whatever is, helps to get that nay gens getting done uh, aim. So let's not do that. Distortion so that I can hide, maybe, but I don't think so. Um, I'd like to be able to heal myself, thanks. That'd be great. That'd be great. Technician. Technician. I'll tell you why technician's a bit of a problem. See with technician, see when I fail a skill check, it does an extra 3% sort of damage to it. Regresses it. Which is kind of alright. It's not brilliant. But the killer doesn't heal the, the gen exploding. I want them to hear it fucking explode so they come to the gen and everybody gets fucking chased. Oh, I'm going to put a lithe on so I can get away. 
I might keep distortion so I don't get fucking caught for it. You know, I can get away. Maybe a wee bit better. Maybe. Um, I think that's it. I mean, red herring might be alright. Just chuck it in for a wee giggle. Chuck in for a wee laugh. Right. And look, everybody, and see that add-on, uh, that offering. All survivors start the trial together. So we'll be all in the one place. So the, the aim is this. Start the game. We get on a fucking gen. I fail a skill check. The gen goes... Poof, the killer fucking gets notified. Comes towards us, but not only that. People will... The, the my fellow survivors will clearly see and hear that the gen that I fucked up a skill check. See with technician, it's silent. It just goes like that. It just goes back like that. I want them to know. Demi, thank you very much for the raid. Hello, raiders. You're about to see some amazing. Uh, uh, a new way of playing the game. It's a new way of playing. Um. Illustration, thanks to the sub. You've been here longer than it. Pedro, thanks to the sub. Can you look in the camera and say, Peter, I'm proud of you. Peter, I'm proud of you. Gravy, thanks to the sub. So here's the fucking aim. We all start together. We all go to a gen. I fuck up every fucking skill check. And after I, f I fuck up the skill check, I do a wee teabag to let my fellow survivors know I'm a dickhead. I'm a troll. This game's ruined. I would just leave if I was you. Right? My aim is... My aim... It's to get nagents, nagents uh, being done. That's my aim. And anything that tells the teammates that I'm a waste of space, a waste of skin, can only be a good thing because that will make them go like that. There's no point in doing the gents. He's just going to... There's no point. I just wanted to come and play a wee game on a Friday and we fucking teamed up with this. The fucking bet, of course. Right, so the bet. Jesus. How many gens left when I end either by dying or getting out? You've got one minute. Prediction has started. Just have a look if you don't understand the everything I've said or the question. I would consider uh, not betting. Also, in the upcoming general election, I would consider no voting either. Designs and Wiley thinks the subs. Drama thinks the sub. Oddworld? No, no, I'd never heard it. Mr. Rager says, Mon the Tories, eh, Brian? What Mr. Rager is saying there is that by me saying don't vote, they're assuming that the votes that will be lost are people who are not Tories here in this community because I'm addressing the idiots, the dafties in the chat and therefore that person has just said that Tories are the clever people.
Go on, Mayor. There we go. Oh, here's my teammates. We're all here together. Yeah, let's go. Party time. Killer know we were here. Who is that? Oh. Oh shit, here. Fuck off, Bill. It's in. <laughs> Whoops. Should be alright. They'll be getting chased. That gen. Is that her? Yeah. How long have I got? A few seconds. Fuck off! I don't know if you can see. Oh, I don't think you can. No, you can't see it. I had the um, the health thing on my bob, the syringe thing. Oh, you fucking bastard! You. Don't be unhooked me. Wait a minute. Oh, no. No, you're all right. Got to learn to fend for yourself. Okay, looking good. What? Why? 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 Game's so quiet. Uh, I don't like it loud. It's annoying for people, in my opinion. Don't want it all loud. You just want to just it. Oh, I've got fucking red herring. I forgot about that. Um, well, what will do? If I do this for a few seconds, you kind of see the red herring is now monkey dory. I should really move me up. What harmed? Oh, Michaela, decent. Oh, very good. You just came back out the way that you didn't want to go there. They're getting chased. I'll go all the way out here. Is that Bill? No.
Oh, they are. Medka. Good. Fuck. Please. Fuck! The main thing is... The gen situation. That's the main thing. Oh no. Oh dear. Same fucking bit. Can I see how many jet? Right, I need to sort all oh, this out. Hold on. Do that. And do that. I'm up here, everybody. How's it going? You alright? I'm up here, everybody. Hello. You alright? That's it, Laurie the bot. Oh no, it's no bot. If you could come and get me. Come and get me, let's get these gens done. We heal, we heal, we heal. No, fuck you then. Fuck you too. Pop that down. Okay, fuck you. Okay, fuck you. I've still got a uh, red herring. Uh, red so getting reported for not healing. I know. Did us for a week ago. Please. Oh, good. Got that one coming here. Run healed? No. Here. That did red herring. It's too scary. As long as I just bring them to the gen. That's good enough for me. As long as, I mean, four gens. I have now officially left the game. I've officially ended the game. My game has ended. That's a four. Mods, could you please pay out? <coughs> four. 1030 thinks it's up. Mercs, Sugar Sip, Woodlouse. DJs, Kati, Matty, Matt, Beatles, KJD. Killbot, Benjani, SE Designs, and Cobrux thanks to subs. Can I get a thank you in my favourite Lemmy character voice, Falconiff? 
Thank you, traveler. I don't get it. So you could die straight away and it's five. Correct. So you do get it. So you're a liar. So you've come in here and lied to this community. That's pish. I'll tell you. Tell you what's pish. I plan... On, like, we did the bet normally. We did that bet, but it's at the end of the game. Let's say I get killed within the first two fucking minutes. Let's say I get hooked, unhooked, tunneled, hooked, unhooked, tunneled, and that's it. We've got to sit here for the next 15 minutes watching these other people fucking play like this to see how it ends you know, see how many gens get done. That's pish. So, I've got to try and stay alive for as long as possible. That's the aim. I'm not just going to go, oh, I don't care if I fucking die. Tunneled means they, like, they kind of, kind of like tunnel vision, in a way. They're just, just you. They're just after you. I'm not going anywhere else. A tunnel, you know, a tunnel just takes you in this one way. Just that. Just you at the end. That's what they're going for. I have a new gamble, please. Same again. One male, except, see red herring? It's a bit of a waste. Um, no, I'll keep it on. I'll keep it on. I'll keep everything on. What does hooked mean? Do you want to fucking find it? Raydell thinks it's up. Disintegration loops, thanks to sub. How are you? I'm very well, thanks. Feel a wee bit tired. Hold on. Aye. I can tell if I'm tired if... Now this might sound daft. But see right now, my eyes are open. I feel awake. But see if I just rest. And our, st and our strength for heals. Have I got to do a totem first for a... No, I'll just, I'll just use a med thing. Um, so we just rest. Bet, the bet's on. Is it all? Oh, fuck. I thought I, thought, I, I thought I saw a mod say, new bet, and I went, yes, new bet. It's not a prediction. You have got one minute. You've got one minute. All oh, right. Or oh, were you suggesting perhaps she would like to do a bet sitting there on the computer? Let me. Is that what you meant, Llama? Because you're no, you're mobile or something, and you kind of do that, right? So you meant do you want a cup of tea? Aye. Right on you go. Then get me one as well. You meant that. Cup of tea, aye, help yourself. Here we go. So why say it then? Just as a reminder, Adam. Alright, hardest job in the business, being a mod in this channel. Why do I regard it as the hardest uh, place to moderate? Why is it so hard? You go into some of these edgier communities you got one mod and 50,000 viewers nobody gives a fuck you go into one of these really 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 cosy communities they've got about 50 mods 10 viewers <coughs> and um, they clamp down on everything easy in both cases it's easy No? 
I will hopefully draw attention to that. You saw me. You fucking saw me. Um, but here, it's a wee bit in between. So it's harder to judge. Is that is that dodgy? Is that is that playful? Is that fun? Is that a bit of dark humour? Just a wee bit of dark humour? Or is that out of order? Very hard. Oh, come on. You didn't see me. No chance. Fuck it. Use the syringe. Just hold tight. Hold tight. The syringe is kicking in. Down the bottom right. And... Uh, there we go. Right, let's take some attention away from me. I did not. Actually, you know what? That's it, he's went that way. Right, now let's sort out the, the gen situation. Let's see what I can do here. Skill check, please. Kate's just on a gen. Just I know, but I need to help in order to get the, to the skill checks. That's a shame. But Claudette will be getting chased now, hopefully, soon. Considering I drew attention to her, Jen. I see I can fuck up a skill check with the healing bastard. Killer's not found anybody. Claudette. Claudette's back on that Jen. Let's see what we can do about that. No, no, a different gen. Right, let's see if we can get this sorted out. That's good. So it's no five. Let's see if we get Ace off for this one. Skill check, please. Oh, it looks a daisy. Come on.
Keep going. Remember, it's about the gens. Oh, was that? What was that? Did I heal? Was I healing myself there? Heal, 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 heal. Oh, mending. Oh, shit. Run into a nice wee corner. All the fucking gens are getting their... This, this is... I know. How can you lose a game like this? It goes to show you. It's all random. One hook? Try to slug everybody or no. Don't know. Killer should try alternative games. I'm gonna say that in the chat. I'm not here, nobody's here. Kate's on an old gen. Let's see if I can find that gen. Kate's getting chased. Kate's there there. Kate, Kate, please. Uh, heal me. Heal the MVP, please. Please. Thank you. I fucked up my rod, did you hear that? Did you hear that behind? Fucking brilliant. Brilliant stuff. Let's go to the Claudette. Pay our respects, no, uh, right. There's Ace on that gen. The problem is Ace has got prove thyself. I will now use red herring. I will go into a locker which will draw attention to that gen. That's it. Good stuff. That was me that did that. We had Ace. Come on, I'll get a wee heal, man. Ace. Ace, come and let me heal you. This is why it's not, there's no point in playing this game for real. Look. Look how long I'm having to go after him to heal him. Look. 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 
I mean, what, what's it in? Does, it, does he know that I'm meta, or...? Oh, oh fuck, shit. Good luck in your journey, life's journey. Is that one out there, there, there you want to get, mate? Uh, ace mate! Ace! Ace, ace bro! Bro! Does he? Ah, stop. <laughs> Shit, he do you want? I'm the best. You can do what you want. What, why am I getting hit? Reporting for turn. Ah, he'll be getting reported for tunneling. Uh, Keeps we heal. No, no, I went healed here. No. Cheers. Good team, mate. Good teammate, it has to be said. Is it faster with the fucking medkit? Hold on. You know what? They're alright. They're alright. They're all right. Right, let's go after the... Let's let's try and secure you at least one gen left. Can I at least get you that? Kate's on that gen. I'm sorry, everybody, uh, uh, if you sympathise with Kate, but I need to stick to the mission. I need to. Right, yes, let's get it done, mate. Can I please get a skill check? Please? Please? Skill check? This is kind of productive. Good. 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 You didn't see me go in here. Oh, 
Oh. Do you know what I need to do? I need to lock. I need to see the, the, see the thing to lock the gens. I need to do that. That's uh, it's a fucking zero. Mods. How can they fucking lose this? Can I at least block the fucking gate? Can I at least do that? Save the key. It's not my style. I, I, I'm, I'm scared of going down uh, the light side of the force. I'm scared of going down that path because once you go down it, it it's very seductive. And there's sometimes there's no way back. Once you start being nice, you end up being nice a lot. You fucking missed. Then I fucking missed. You see that? I did the right thing. Oh, no, don't dead hard. Oh, for fuck's sake. There we go. That's it, keep going. I know that I can make it. Basta. Basta. There's a hero. Charlie, thanks for three quid. Fix your teeth, stupid English man. Go drink your tea. Whale and ball bag, I think, the subs. Best thing you've eaten recently. Worst thing you've eaten recently. Absolute shite bottle. Ah, yes. Um, yeah, a curry. Oh, mate. I don't know what that is. I don't know how bad or what that is. Is that awful? Is that an awful word? Does it? Um, I think red herring shite, and I think I need to. What was that again? What's the what's the lock? The gen, one. I'm not trying hard enough. Come on. Fucking they cunt. There we go. We press the lines, that's the one. Um Fine, uh -huh. get away. I think that's perfect. No, no, I'll just play I'll just play one or two more. Um and then I'll get on with something else. Right. This one will work better. This will work better. Right, just one more. Shit candles. 
They're just battery powered to be fun candle things, just a bit of fun. Just a bit of fun, you know, it's just... You could say it's not very classy. Just a bit of fun, right? A bit of fun. A candle made of actual wax that out. It's a bit of fun that's... You know, obviously the classier, more stylish thing would be real candles, big ones. Maybe gigantic ones, they got the wax stripped in. Yes, yes, kind of tacky maybe you could say. But it's, it's a bit of fun. Just remember that. Remember having fun. Well, you come at the right place. See this, this can get to fuck. I knocked it air this morning, knocked all fuck, no, yesterday, knocked all fucking table air. It's getting replaced by a hanging fucking basket for up there, down there. That's, that's, that's what's going to be there instead. Because I'm sick of this getting in the way. On stream and off, it's off stream it actually gets in the way. It's just, I need, but I want something there. So we'll see. I can replace it when you fake plants and things like that. I hate it because it's not real. Nothing's real. Nothing is. Real. 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 I won't smack my head in it because after the stream I just take it down. I stick it out there. Completely out of the way. Camera like that. Fake plants with your fake candles and fake hair. Doesn't make any sense. I've not got fake hair. One of the things that people say is that I have got real hair, but it's not enough or it's receding. Part of it doesn't make any sense. Just like that. I'm going to chuck in the word hair somewhere. Doesn't make any fucking sense. Ban on the horizon. Right. Let's get this done. Come on. Come on, folks. Let's get the job done. Do I know it's real? Bands are real. Right, who's then what? Right, you're on that gen there. Let's get that sorted out. Legion. The Legion's got them off that gen, which is good. The people are real. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's him fucked off. If I could just get her there. Shit. Gotta get chased now. Right. Let's get you it off that fucking... Let's get a gin. Done now. I do have to do it for just a wee moment. In order to be able to... Uh, That's the fucking what not. I could you remember you've got to do a gen for quite a long time, you've got to do it for 45 seconds until you can start blocking a gen. I kind of just go out block and just walk up very first. Hyper focus to get more skill checks. That doesn't work. You know why? In order to get... It increases the amount of skill checks you get. Um, when you do a great skill check.
It speeds up, so you've got to actually do good to do, to do bad. Right, now I can block a gen. Everybody, now I can block a gen. This will be the last one. Because enough's enough. Why block a gen? For the purposes of the bet. Yes, but you just... Yeah, but you just did good and only did good. Right. I'll repeat it. Hyperfocus works. If I remember correctly. It's a bot. My point in teabagging. It rewards you, it gives you more of a reward than usual if you do a great skill check. That is the wee tiny bit. Successful block. That was a success. Wait a minute, can I do this again? Have I got to do enough 45 seconds of a gen to block it? Aye. Oh shit! Right. The actual use of block the gen. Uh, in case the killer's coming and um, ready to kick the gen, you know, regress it. Then you can. I, I can imagine you wouldn't have a big use for it. No skill check, please. Just want to knock this back, please. I need to. I need to, another few seconds. Look. Fuck off. I can't block the gen unless I'm the only one that's on it. So I need to get him to go off it for a wee moment. Haha, <laughs> you're shite at this. Uh, can I have a 24 hour time out for GB? I don't want to see them for the rest of the day. Ah, they missed!
The only problem is it isn't regressing. I I used the perk as it was I in a good way. Look at him running towards it. Sna sickening. Vultures. You fucking skill check. They're doing some sort of achievement thing. Can you believe four gens have been done? You're losing off a pitch with bad players like like Overwatch. <laughs> that, that feels better than teabagging. Because it looks. That's the bot! Oh, yeah, fucking. Oh, Jesus, what a. Oh. Everything's so fucking meaningless. You want healed? No. No. Look at this. Imagine us playing this game for real. Do you want healed? What is this? This is a business. This is a business. Oh no, I've took my eyes off that fucking chin! Can you fucking believe it? Mods, can you please pay out? That's another zero. With me trying to fuck this up. All the gens got done. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. I'm actually going to get out. If they get run today in the fucking gate, or is it uh, no way out, or whatever the fuck it's called? Aye. I get out. That's the main question. Try and block them. Aye. Well, day is all ninety nine percent it, and then no let them out. Oh. 
Hugh's getting chased, Nick's on the other gate. Hopefully they head back and Nick has to get off the gate. He has got off the gate. Right. I'm sorry, Nick, but I can't. Oh, you bastard! Bastard! I've never fished, no. Lovey, thanks for sub. You got biscuits for me, little catty boy. Biscuit? I never called it with that. Is that that thing where the cats start making biscuits or something? So we. I fucking hate that term. Needing. I know I don't. I don't get the biscuits thing. Diver butterfly thinks the sub. We got a pub man. Charlie thinks the three quid. I'll try and watch the Scotland game tonight, but it's not it's doubt that's gonna happen. Is there one Is there one Mr. Lips of the Day? Pubman Paul was took. Um thanks for sub. You're very welcome. What's one last bet? One last bet. And a quick one. Where I can just, I'll die on hook, just dead quickly. This, this is the final one, right? This is the final one. Uh, will I get the, the killer, um, will I befriend the killer? And I'm gonna I'm gonna go to our befriend in the killer um bond. Basically the same again, right? Where I can see the see the teammates. But also here um what was that one you see them, they see you. Obsession Object of of, of that one for the blooper room. Object of obsession. Right. They can see me, I can see them for three seconds every 30 seconds. Right, that will help. Right. Because I want this to be quick. We will be able to find out very quickly if I'm befriending the killer or no. Um, see if he hits me and gets me done I'll uh, how do I start with somebody else start with somebody else I'll do that um, see if they they hit me and get me done I'm just going to immediately just try uh, die on hook right I'm not going to try and get after hook wait until I get unhooked and try again no 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 I will Actually, I will need to die on hook. Um, but we'll find out very quickly if I can befriend the killer or no. Right? Right? Will I befriend the killer? Yes, no. And what does that look like? It looks like me going up to the killer and doing something like that, you know, right, like that. And then and I, and I start running away. And you know, I'm like pointing to my teammates, they're there, they're there. Anything where the killer isn't gone after me anymore, they're either they're following me to see what I'm up to, or something like that. It might be they follow me, get the other teammates, and then fucking kill me. It still counts. The referee's decision is final. Even if I befriend the killer for just a short while, that counts. How do we know absolutely? through numbers and black and white facts, if that counts as a befriending, because the referee's decision is final. If you can't abide by that, do not fucking bet. 
I will make the right decision. The bet is on. The bet is on. Will I befriend the killer? Because what happens is, you go up to the killer, you do all that, it can look like you're goading him. It can look like you're going like that. Come on in, bet you can't. Come chase me, bet you can't, eh? But some of them are like, wait a minute. I think the killers are generally too stupid for this to work. Oh, I agree. We'll see. While I'm waiting on that, let me just quickly do Prince Hurdle. Jarred up farts, render Shaw thinks the subs, I'll do a little, I don't go into either. I've not got one near us. One's through the clay tunnel, the other one's quite a distance. Uh. <coughs> the perfect guitar chord. Says Dicker Cosmos. Right, here we go. Here we go. No. So. Right, here we are. So, we're a teammate who is doing nothing. Yeah. No, it's, it's chucky, by the way. So, that cunt's useless. Now, what I need to do is look like I'm maybe blocking. Yeah. Hey, watch us, watch us. It's looking good. Um, that's... That's a yes. That's a yes. I have befriended this fucking killer. Mods, please pay out. That's a befriending. That's a befriending. That's a befriending. Yeah! 
That's the that's the one that's fucked off. That is an absolute cast iron. Befriending. Oh, no, it's not over yet. The thing is, they've not failed any skill checks. Oh, wait. Oh, it's not any skill checks yet, isn't it? No. Is it? No, it isn't it? Shall we go and look for the hatch together? <laughs> Up there then maybe? Hard to hear past the fucking music. Fuck is it? Odds on the ultimate be betrayal. Fuck is it? Chucky, gonna you find it? losing patience, I know. Oh no. I'm just scanning every fucking bit. Hear it? No. Oh. Him. Get the gate. I will fucking kill you. Get the gate. Oh no. Please? Please?
please? GG Good team That's somebody who knows how to play the game That's somebody who gets it I just see there when I went to quit. I just see Pobinio. Th thanks to sub. When's the last time you were a passenger in the car? Um, yesterday. I'm going to open up the Planet Crafter just now. And that game will go down in history as a perfect game. It's difficult. Sometimes you go up to a killer and either they don't care about that or they know or they don't know what you're doing or they know what you're doing but they don't care. Um Planet Crafter is not responding, closed program. Or oh, no, it's, it's actually working. I want to see Um Now that this is out, out of early access, I want to see What's going on? Hold on. Fuck, I don't remember. I, I sort of remember us. I'm just having a wee... Why does the frame rate look a wee bit... Not quite right. 60... Oh, fucking hell. 60. Uh, 1080... On twenty is adequate for me, thanks. I can't even fucking remember what I did with all this. That's right, it makes grass. What for? I can't even fucking remember. I thought, like, I was like, <coughs> I would be better off starting at the fucking beginning, but I'm not going to. Eh, uh, wait a minute. Do something funny. Can I get a 24 hour timeout for Grawly, please? Dirty Millet, Studio, thanks to the subs. For safety reasons. Sudo says, for safety reasons. We're going to stop the music. Let people get some room, some space. For safety reasons. I need to, I need to get that on, I. Purposes of health and safety. Prodigy live. Nope, nope, yes. I like the song Firestarter. I liked it when it came out. Oh, wait a minute. I liked it when it came out, and I like it right now. But there's one wee thing I don't like. And forgive me for saying this. Because I know he's dead. Um.
Now I'll tell you what I like. Right, right, listen. Right, see the way he goes that? Instigate that! There, I like that, right? It sounds like some sort of demon or something, right? Or medieval fucking war person. Tell you what I don't like though. Nah, I don't like that. The way he says animator. Animator! It then sounds like I've I've worked my my sweeties! My ta! Give me back my bag! That's all. Anyway. I thought it at the time. I thought it when it came out. I thought, oh I don't like that one. Hey ta. I prefer it is ha! Made this a man, but a safe way, a responsible way. Not cool. Not cool at all. Anyway. Doesn't respect the safety. Ask you respectfully to leave. Oh wait. Oh, so I watched. Um, I so I watched the. I think I mentioned it. Watched the first episode of the, the new series of the boys. Went to Homelander bits. Liked it was alright. A wee bit slightly maybe slightly overdoing it now with the Maybe. But maybe Homelander himself is like that's no, not the actor. It's the character. No spoilers, I'm no, no spoiling it. Um but I saw certain bits it's just like fucking forward, forward, forward. And some nice adverts on the uh, Rafa, thanks for the sub. Want it to Berlin tonight? I'll, I'll see you there. Don't. Rain. Dirty Millet, thanks again. Thanks for the sub. Rain. Da, 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 da. So what we are, before I get on with this here, what are we, um, Homelander's a character in Mortal Kombat. Shame when we're fucking interested. I don't mean that in the right rude way, like I'm not interested in what you've got to say. Don't play Mortal Kombat. I've seen lots of bits for it. Oh look, have you seen that Rambo's in it? Have you seen that the Terminator's in it? And you see it and it's the fighting's just It's just I like it. I don't know why it's no don't know why it doesn't click with me in a way that I enjoyed Street Fighter 4 at the time. Obviously Street Fighter 2, but don't know. Don't know. I may be in the Street Fighter 5. Blah. Just overly an image of him in your current game. That's not the end. That's the beginning. That's the return to innocence. I can't remember if that's what it. Uh, there's something up there, everybody. Something that I could collect. Hold on. Eh, uh, what? Here, wait, 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 wait. Bollocks. No, 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 no. That's new. Is it because it's angled out the way? You know, this, this, this fucking timer thing.
Because it's cold, all right. Ah, you know what? Can't be fucked with it. Play something else. <coughs> what else have I got? Got Overwatch there, which I've not played for about a month after getting suspended. Right, but fucking, it's a stream killer that. Um, um, could have put on seller because, um, abandoned. Look at over two hundred games abandoned. Dave the Diver, abandoned. Cuphead. Um, what's that Dicey Dungeons? Like, remember playing it and going, ah, oh, I'm no one here. No, so this is on my abandoned list. This is my abandoned list. It's fun but puzzly. Uh, the forest? The forest isn't abandoned. The forest was completed. I mean, oh, it's all, it's in both. It's in my abandoned list and my done list. I need to remove it for abandoned. I've got the Forgotten City. I can't remember. It confused me. I think it maybe confused me or something. Horizon Forbidden West sitting there. 50 fucking quid game. Inscription? No, I don't want that. Indica? I, um, Jump King? Forget it. Uh, good old mud runner. That's not abandoned. Mud runner. I can't be fucking getting back into that. Um, is there? Is there something? Is there like a browser-based game? Like the old Spectrum games that I can go into. I know there's that thing, but you've got to log in and sign up for it and all that shit. Um, is there something I can pop onto right now? But man, maybe there's a... What was... Uh, maybe like a kind of pixel, pixel sort of game that's that, that I've maybe abandoned that will take two seconds to download or something. Line Rider. I could, you know, I could buy it, get it. Man, it may not affect Um Power line riders, that's something else. Release date, 2024. Oh, yeah. Don't know what the fuck that is. Solitaire. Line riders, a flash game, right. What have I got? What have I got? PC Builder, Pedestrian, um, Satisfactory. No, it's all been for good reasons. Um, no, fuck all there. Nothing there. Uh, and I'll go at Bilateral. Balatro. I'll have a wee shot at that. There you go, I've installed it. That took about fucking three seconds. Let's see how this goes.
play. So I've already done one run through. Blue deck plus one hand every round. Can't remember how, how this. You start with an extra turn. Oh, um, I can't remember what was a hand. Basically, another another go, another game. Oh, right. Does that mean right? You've done that. Does that mean chip mean you've done that? Right. Green deck, black deck, nebula deck. So, at the end of each round, $2 per remaining hand, $1 per remaining discard, uh, earn no interest, go yellow. Start with an extra tenor. Yellow and green are good. We'll do that. Um, Best difficulty, let's not be daft. Right, I'll try and remember how to fucking play it. Pooh and Henry thinks the subs. All oh, Calamity Jane is that I don't like musicals. I mean, I like Calamity Jane the film. But I can imagine sitting there listening to like uh, Secret Love and Deadwood Stage, just kind of just sitting there like. Looking at the stage and uh... Christ, okay, thanks for the bits. No, anybody. Did I say it was the, did I say the Wizard of Oz? You'd love Starlight Express, would I? Right, how the fuck they are? Do I have to go up here now? I have to go right up here. Wait a minute, wait a minute. That, I think. Four hands, three discards. Oh, wait. Um, is it best? Is there anywhere I can go now? Is there fucking anywhere I can go? Can I go anywhere now? Right, so you can't see that there's cards behind me. 44 out of 52. Um, yeah, right, right, right. Options. Four hands. Start up the top left and work, uh, just read. It's got at least 300. Reward three. Doors, small plane. I can't remember any of this. Four hands, three discards, fourteen dollars, one at eight, and a round one. Can I quite remember how it all works? I can kind of remember it. Right. Now I've got a fucking. Got two pair right away, so I, I did that, didn't I? Seven, eight, nine. Right. I'll just be myself, you're right. Just be myself. That's a discard day. I saw the longer you hold on to discards, the, the better. So I could right now go like that, right? Get rid of the get rid of the Raymond Hope for a straight. Four, five, six, seven. I got nine or eight. It's not gonna happen though. Um and I can play them all, can I? Just to get rid of them. Uh, 
What would you do here? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to continually go like that. What should I do? What should I do? What should I do? Plus 10 chips, plus 10 chips. Does that mean if they're played in a hand, you get 10 chips for that? So, three spades. You know what? Fuck it, get rid of that. Well, that's shite. Um, they just just maybe do it again. Is that the right thing to do? Two remaining hands, one dollar each. Uh, two, one interest pair, of five dollars. Right, two, two, one interest pair. What does that mean? What is two, one interest pair, five dollars? Is it because I had ten dollars? So I've got two times. Right, right. Right, here we go. Here we go. Right, no, here we are. Right. No. Buffoon pack. Right. Uh chariot. Steel card. The United States of America. Please. Get out of your seats now. And welcome. The 100th President of the United States of America. Quick travel. Um, plonk me all the way at Mile City. What was that? Um, right, 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 right. Detect. Cause. Right, hold on. Let me just try for a wee moment. That's all. I should actually go... Maybe... So we're covering up the, the map, you know, the, the GPS, but I suppose it doesn't matter that much. Um, F7? No, no, no. F4? F5? Where's the fucking... Um, F4? No. F6? F5? 
That's the one. Right, it's just around the corner. Just gotta get some petrol. Just gotta get a wee bit of petrol. Uh, gasoline. Uh, could you fill her up with some gasoline, please? Could you fill up, uh, fill up my vehicle? Attendant, could you please fill up my vehicle with gasoline? Thank you. Johnny on the spot. Sally with the the girl with the pink hair was so sweet and a real Johnny on the spot. How's everybody? Um, feeling about the weekend? Are you feeling about it? Looking forward to the Scotland game tonight. Silly wee nation. Silly wee country. Laughing stock. Silly wee country. I want to see if I can find that bit at the end of Superman 3 when the oil situation gets sorted out and this gets sorted out and that gets sorted out and the guy says, remember I met, did I play it before? I remember trying to find it before but I don't know if I actually found it. Yeah, fill her up, she's not had a drink for quite a while. Remember? Superman ending. Not the end credits. Oh, Jesus! Hey, what it is when he fucking looks at you. Fucking amazing effects on 1962. He smiled at us! At us! Any wind in space, mate? I see. I want to get that ending bit. Never going to find it. Never going to find it. Oil spill. I causes an oil spill and all the rest of it. It's never gonna find it. Never, ever, ever gonna find it. Absolute fucking shite. Never gonna find it. Well, never, ever. You know what, Superman 3. Whole film. Is it, is it making it better or is it, is that making it worse, making it better? Hey, wait a minute, wait, no he's made it worse, no nope, it's fucked, what a shite, what a shite. No. Oh well. Daily motion. My pointer, the cursor, goes from that monitor to that one and vanishes. Do I need to take it higher? No. Lower? No. Just 
Just something about Truck Simulator that makes it go, nah, just going to hide that for you. Ha uh ha. -huh. Daily Motion Superman 3. Superman. Oh, I see. <coughs> no, just I'm... right. We're back. No, I'm in Mile City. I would like a job, freight market, from Mile City to the furthest away. Right to California, okay, okay. System options. Um, no graphics. Um, um, audio. Yeah, that's the one. Master volume. Right up. And then turn it down for use. Okay, okay. Right. How's the volume? Too quiet? How's... Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. Guilty. 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 Not too quiet, is it? Guilty. It's all fucking shite, isn't it? Am I right, everybody? Muckle Mountain Ross, Kenzo, thanks for subs. Chris, thanks for sub. Happy 30th birthday, Stephen. A sincere happy 30th birthday. Great time in your life. It's a lot of, fuck, lot of fucking shite. They could bring out some... You know what made me say that? I thought Superman... New Superman films. No, really watched them. Watched that one back in like 2006. Imagine they brought out a new one, but it's kind of dark and all that. Well, they sort of have, and they sort of did up with Batman. They bring out another kind of Batman, and another kind of Batman, and another kind of Batman. There's just no getting around the fact that it's a cunt dressed as a bat, and they can have as many guys gone like that he looks ridiculous he does it never works it never really works as for Superman but it does better doesn't it are you trying to tell me that you have watched, let's say, The Dark Knight, and you go, I like Heath Ledger as the Joker. I like the story, maybe. I like this bit and that bit. You try to tell me that when, um, what's his name? For God's sakes, the throw is working with professionals. What's his name? Christian Bale. Um, Uh, when he does his voice, I, first I did. you're sitting there like this. You're, you're like that. It's 
I bet you a joke. Wouldn't you agree? Now, can it be done in a way that you take it seriously? How could it be taken seriously? Dressed as a bat. How how would you do that? I know some of you are like, maybe like, why do you take it seriously? I think the the whole idea where well, he sort of dressed as a bat because he's kind of scared the bats when he was younger because he fell doing that well or some shit, you know, just in Batman Begins. That's why. So it all makes perfect sense. I still don't think it's quite... Right. How can you do... Like, you know how Joker did a kind of... Right, Joker bit in a... Attempt to be sort of gritty 70s taxi driver. Type away, kind of, sort of. Make it a bit... bit more real. How would you do that with, the, with Batman? Because I just don't think dressing up as a bat is enough. I mean, it's no... Ex it's, not, it's unacceptable, is what I'm saying, in my opinion. His bat thing with the big fucking stupid fucking bat ears. He's standing there, having a serious conversation. Looking like a bat. It's a film, can't you suspend disbelief? Um, That's not good enough. That's good enough for you to be able to just hit out with that part. It's a film, just suspend disbelief. It's a film, just suspend disbelief. That's not good enough for me. Now, if it's Rocky 3, Rocky 4, something like that, then aye, who fucking cares? It's just a bit of fun. But you're sort of meant to be invested and sort of care and all the rest of it. Where, like, say, Batman Begins. It's a bit necessary. I'd say. It's just for fun. Well, I think, personally, I personally think, it needs to either nudge itself a wee bit more in the fun or silly way, or back to the seri more serious way. It's too... It attempts too much kind of gravitas while he's dressed in a He's uh, dressed up as a bat. Growling away. The Batman got it right. What would you do with the bat thing? Imagine you're like, he needs to be Batman. That needs to stay. He needs to be in some way looking, like dressed up, looking like a bat or something. Or maybe no. In Joker, the makeup that he's wearing is justified because that's his job to be a kind of holding a sign in the street and he's got a, well, kind of clown sort of entertainer folk. Kind of makes sense. And it's sort of symbolic and all the rest of it. It sort of makes sense. And Joker, that is. But, um. Batman. I, I wonder. Like. How about it's a guy. He's not dressed as a bat. 
but it's got point ears like Spock something something happened to his ears he's always been nicknamed Batman there you are there you go that's it that's perfect how about it's a guy who likes bats how about Um, there's got to be another way to make it make it work right he's Batman he looks like a packer thanks for sub thank you very much Aiden thanks for sub thank you very much power thanks for sub I'm meeting up for the Scotland game tonight I'll wear my kilt shirt we'll see you there make sure you don't wear anything under your kilt so people can see your, your man shaft <laughs> Still makes me laugh. Let me, can I just stop you right there? You're having a go at that Iron Brew advert. Can I take the piss if it's, nah, it's no funny? Somebody could just say that about you. That's a writer. There's a writer somewhere that's behind that idea. And you're just like, <laughs> <laughs> lot of fucking shit. I've got, I've, uh, 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 I muted myself saying two Scottish bafters. I said the word Scottish. Did you hear that? I went like, I've got, I was ready to go like, I've got Scottish bafters. I can't hear a fucking thing. Do you know what? Even at my, and my end here, I need to turn that down. I don't want any, uh, the writer or writers who are behind that, maybe thinking, who does he think he is with his fucking shitey two Scottish bath? Does he think uh, he's an expert or something? I know what funny is. I was on the telly. So just want to say greatest of respects. I personally think I fulfilled the brief. Now let's say you were to say... Um, you come up with better then. I can come up with better right now. Right, so... Scotland. Right, do, do something with Iron Brew. Iron Brew. And they've got the they've got the kind of slogan thing at the end. We can, like as in we can win, we can do it, but also we can. It's a we can. It's an actual small can. Right. I. People say People say they don't quite know what the taste what they love about Iron Brew is, but they love it. They don't know what makes Iron Brew what it is, but they love it. And that's like Scotland. It's something you can't put your finger on. No, because then you're going to start like you've got, you're going to you're going to emphasise it's like unnatural fucking ingredients and chemicals and what is it anyway? You don't want people going like that. What is iron brew anyway? Right, like, this is it. This is it. This is when it's getting. I want this getting made. Iron brew. Iron brew.
and it's nothing to you. Iron Brew, and it's nothing to you. As in, like, football, you haven't scored any goals. A bit of an advert. A lot of people say that our colouring Sunset Yellow, which is a band colouring in America, leads to can exacerbate ADHD or hyperactive uh, symptoms of some sort. But I say this. Shows your man shaft. We'll take it out there. Eh? Iron Brew's recycled Tizer. So I wouldn't drink, I wouldn't drink any fizzy stuff. I don't drink any fizzy stuff anymore. Really looking after my health. Fruit Machine has uh, requested an improv with one million channel points. Man buys wrong beer. By the story commence. Craig went up to the bar. When um uh, one of them the eye the bottle next to that yep that one the eye yep yep got it took it back started drinking it another one started drinking it got steaming had a big fight with his boss knocked his boss out got hauled uh, uh, into the bollocking room by the office, the, the the serious meeting with a few of the bosses on on the Monday, and they said some pretty fucking um, dodgy things. Bollocking room, I was going to say, but it's a boss's room. Said some dodgy things, uh, Some a few inappropriate things were said. And he said, look, I've got a problem. I've got a drinking problem. I'm going to sort this out. I'd absolutely understand if you give me the sack right here now. I've got a drinking problem. And I'm going to try and get help for it. I've never spoken to anybody about it. And he started greeting. And they went like that. Uh, do you know what you were drinking last night? He said, I was just on the on on the uh, beers, but I was drinking a lot. Do you know which one, what, what you're drinking? Bex. He went, and he went, you're drinking Bex Blue. Okay, well, that. Right. Do you know what Bex Blue is? What? Take my Bex. Spex, non-alcoholic. No alcohol. And Craig went, right, I didn't know that. And he got, uh, he got sacked. He was on the placebos. The end. Because you see, he didn't have an excuse. He didn't have an excuse, you see. Because if you, if, you, if you get drunk, that's an excuse. One million channel points. Listen. 
That's that's based on a fucking true story, by the way. That's the that's the special thing about this. That's actually based on a true story. Cause that's what it was like when I had a fight with my, uh, one of my bosses. I was fucking steaming, tours and headlocks and all the rest of it. An absolute mess. Fight with the bouncers, concussion feeling, blood everywhere and all the rest of it. And then when I remembered it, the next day I was like, oh fuck, so I'm fucking sacked. Cause it's like the boss is like fucking. He said something to do with my T-shirt or something. Could have been a compliment for all I know. I was just like, can, look at you. What? 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 And then fight started. A boss in a suit. I just thought, I don't work in a fucking um, a garage. It's two fucking lads having a scrap and then shaking hands at the end. It's my boss suit. Sports car. Bit of dickhead. Um, and I typed an email to him to apologise, I think. And I think I said, or, or I was gone. Did I, did, I, did I actually send it? Or I can't even remember now. But I definitely typed it. And I was like, pure like, um, I wasn't going like that. I've, I, I've got a drink problem. But I think I said in it, something like, um, I've got a problem or something. It was something along the lines of saying I've got a problem or... Because I was like, fuck me, man. I wasn't like that. Listen, I've got a drug problem. There's nothing you can do about it. It's an illness. I can actually get you done. I can get you sacked. But, um... I guess, did I say him or... He just kind of like uh, on the Monday. I think he just kind of like laughed it off. You know, oh, don't worry about it. <laughs> kind of like that. No, get a fuck. I wonder if it's so he, he could hold it in my head in some sort of way. So I was submissive after that, but no. Did I get that feeling? Oh. Why did I tab it? Oh, for the, the thingy. Uh, so that's based on a true story because I was that man. On the road again. Da -da -da -da. McKinnon's a pub up the town. Kind of Merchant City bit is shut now. One of the pubs that open at 8 in the morning. I was in there on New Year's Day, about maybe 2004. But I had some sort of flat, and then we went there in the morning. Uh, and I'd go in every uh, uh, on a Saturday, kind of lunchtime now and again on my way, or a Sunday on my way to work or something, and I remember... Um, that was uh, the guy... Uh, I said before on the stream, there was a guy, I was sitting with some guy, just chatting with him on a, on a Saturday or a Sunday. And um, he had a suit on, I was just chatting away with him. He's like, son, I'm a, I'm a fucking, I'm a tramp, right? I'm a tramp. This. So, and he said something to the way, being at a funeral, something like his wife or brother or something like that. And then he said he'd buried, I, I said, I've told you this before, this is, when was this, fucking, uh, man, 20 years ago, so it's when I was still drinking. And he said that he fucking, he lost the plot. He said he buried his son two weeks ago or something like that. A overdose, something like that. He said, son, I went fucking back up there. I was trying to dig him up. Uh, like, fucking lost it. And, and I was, uh, and I, you know, didn't know the cunt, but just sort of started fucking chatting. And, uh, and that's like Lynn sometimes 
like if I sit in a taxi, I'm not really saying much, saying that I come across as maybe anti-social or something like that. I'm like, because I, I can have wee chit chats about fucking Great Western Road and all that. Member that guy, I prefer they fucking chats. We are talking to somebody who'll tell you anything, and you'll fucking tell them anything. I, I would, I'd, I'd say anything. Sitting in a place like that, talking to a cunt like that, uh, we are drinking my own, or even though without a, uh, even without a drink, if you actually talk about actual fucking stuff. Um, rather than the wee things. I like the wee things as well. I like a wee bit of fucking small talk, but I like that. I like talking about actual fucking things. Um, but I remember that guy, but another thing I remember is going in one Saturday and had like a wee mini sort of karaoke thing. Not a karaoke, but maybe it was a Sunday and just the odd person was getting up and one guy got up it wasn't even that busy. It was like quarter fucking busy. Just some people sitting about. And what'd you reply to him? I was like, I, I can't remember what I said. Probably just something like fucking hell. And but you went up there and you were like, and just uh, I don't know, just kind of listening and and just chatting. I don't know. Um. But I'm interested now. I'm interested in people. Um, I'm interested in people who want to actually talk about stuff, but also interested in that kind of thing. People um, feeling they big fucking things or coping with something or that kind of thing. Um, something that's extreme or you know, these sorts of things that people don't like to talk about. I like to talk about it. I like to know about it hear about it, and speak about it myself. Um, I but uh, this karaoke thing, and a guy got up, come remember what he looked like. Older guy, kind of thin, looked like, like he had, I think he had long hair and a ponytail. He came, and, and he was up singing On the Road Again by Willie Nelson. On the road again. I can wait to get on the road again. I can get on the road again. And it was just like that, right? And there was nobody, people just sort of glanced at him. And I remember, I don't know why, I was just, I was just watching him. And he just sort of, at the instrumental bit before the singing starts again, he was just like that. I'm on the road again. And he, he went like that. All right. There you go. He said, all right, how's it going? Or, all right. How you doing? Well, that just kind of to nobody, really. Not in me particular. No, it's it just kind of that. Nobody really did it back. Nobody went like, ah, yeah. Just smiling. And I was like, look at that. This is where I fucking belong, man. Drink my fucking life away. Joe and from Rach Kizzery thinks of subs. It will be 2 1 to Scotland tonight versus Germany. I just want to feel real love. Oh, watch yourself. Oh, ho. Whoops. <laughs> I thought I thought I was going to just get away with it. Oh, I need to sleep. I need an in-game sleep. Oh wait, um. Uh, oh right, I it's, uh, right service. Repair all. Place all. How much did that cost me? One hundred seventy grand. Or was it seventeen or what?
F5. Can I see the wee map to go for a sleep? I got the fever. I got the freight line fever. Oh, I don't. I don't need to reload. I've got millions. Fever. Just keep on mind. How's everybody keep? How you saw then? Oh, it's fucking 20, it's, tw it's fucking almost half past. Essen thinks the sub. Have you watched The White Lotus? What did you think? If so, no, I don't, I don't think I, I, th I have. White Lotus. Um... Telly? No. When did it come out? 2021. Oh, okay. Awkward. Thanks, I suppose. Um, <laughs> no, it's not. That's no for. That's no for me. It's for you. That's for you. Use that and use watch things like that. Using fucking statues, and you just go. Oh, I love that person, and you idolize them, and you love everything about them, and pictures, and then they, they say something dodgy in about a year from now, and you know you're fucking going through and deleting everything. Uh, WeJet, thanks to sub, thank you very much. He's actually pissing me off, says Hannah. <laughs> <laughs> Glad to hear it. And other trailers, that's really cheered me up. Because I needed cheering up. Who were the victims of Maya sacrifice? Ancient DNA reveals an unexpected find. You shouldn't use people's sacrifice as clickbait. Utterly, utterly disrespectful. I wonder if there's a formula, an equation, for when it isn't too soon. I'd like to know. I mean, in that, you know, general, generally accepted way. Obviously, it is never too soon to a lot of people in terms of joking about something, the fucking disaster that's just happened. But, I mean, like, um, if you were to go by... Uh, on f in a fucking family film or something. Like imagine some we uh, we joke about crucifixion or something. And we joke like that in a family sort of thing. It's so long ago 
And it's so um top of the fucking ancient Rome that it's like oh fuck. Monty Python, I'll say it again, the family thing, family program. I'll say it again, family, family. South Park said it like 21 years. I'll say it again, family, family programme, family film. You know, what's the... I'd like to know the... Um, Simpsons did it. No, I don't mean... I don't even mean like uh, comedy. I mean, when is it kind of... When do you, when's it alright to no give a fuck about it? When's it socially acceptable? When can nobody pull you up for it? You're talking about me joking about that? You're the one who made a joke about that and let's say you're joking about something that happened in the fucking Coliseum. You wouldn't be able to dig somebody up for a joke they've made about um, people getting forced to fucking fight each other. In the, in, in the Coliseum. It's so long ago and it's so out of this world that, you know, you couldn't do it. I'd like to know. Is it a percentage thing? Is it quite is it as simple as that? There isn't it. It's just to do with how many people find it all right or no. Simple as that. That's the main thing, isn't it? Lost your bits. Druby and Sean, thanks for subs. Malcolm Middleton just complimented my band on Twitter. Get in. Please, no jokes about the Trojan War. Um. Well, it's something to think about the uh, uh, crucifixion and things like that. It's something for us to maybe have a wee think about at the weekend. And maybe in um, maybe in Monday we could present our findings and theories and things like that. Let me, I've been using less claps in my music and it's definitely more sexy, by the way. It says right on time. Aye, on every second beat. Aye. Everybody, let me have just a wee quick five five minutes in Ableton. This will be the briefest briefest of moments. Um Seven or seven, thanks. Is this going to work straight out of the box? Oh, wait, it's an eight, nine, nine, nine. Right, get it out. And then I'll um I'll just put in uh what's the fucking shortcut, that's not that control shift T. Yeah. Uh analog and I'll just do uh, this might be a bit loud. Hello, 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 hello,
sexy. And you might be thinking, right, all oh, right, I'll put a clap in. Um, clock it. You might think, put a clap in every second one. Alright, I've completely fucked that up, right. That's too loud. Right. And you could. And you could. I, I personally think this is sexier. But here's how to add claps. Sexy claps, in my opinion. Nobody's right, nobody's wrong. That's like you're shagging, let's say, and everybody's clapping you. Now you can also do... If you want it very sexy though, there's only one option, and it's this. There's only one option, then you know what it is. That's it. Like the fucking reverb map. It's never quite right. It's got this kind of after thing, I can never. Don't want it. Don't want it. Uh, 808 uh, Quarkit, thanks. Close high hat, please.
Yeah, leave it there. Leave it up. That's you, that's you all set up for the weekend now. Carl, thanks for giving me subs. Thank you very much. That's you all set up for your weekend now. Uh, everybody, thank you very much for watching. Thanks for the subs, the resubs, the bits and the tips this week. Mods, thank you very much for the modding. They apologise for being off yesterday, but I had to be. All right, it was no option. Had to be. I'll be back on Monday. Um, and I'll find a new game. A new game, maybe a, maybe a survival one or something like that. We'll see. We shall see. I will make up the hours. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, good luck tonight, Scotland with the football. Mineshaft. <laughs>